Hey guys and welcome back to my cannabis training tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a little update on where the plants have reached in the past week. Now as you guys can see before you, the plants are looking way different than how they looked a week ago. This one here is really tall, it's, a, it's almost doubled in size and this one is still about the same size but it's a lot bushier which also brings me to something i wanted to talk about when growing cannabis plants now the topic that i want to cover today is on strains and how they affect the growth of cannabis plants not all cannabis plants grow the same way there are many different strains existing and I know that people are creating new strains with every grow that they are doing. This is just an example of what's going on in my garden. Now these two plants in front of me here, they were planted at approximately the same time and they are vastly different when it comes to their growth and the way that the structures develop. This plant is of a different strain and as you can see it's quite tall. It's very tall and very branchy. It's not as bushy as the other one. Due to the fact that I have performed some low stress training methods and the topping, that's why it appears to be this bushy. And the canopy appears to be evening out as time goes by. You can see since we perform the low stress training that the colas from on the underside of the plant has grown to reach the top and it will fill out the canopy really well. On some of the leaves there are indications of nutrient burn as you can see right here the little browning of the leaves the edge of the leaves. This is due to the fertilizer that we use we have to use a little less of the fertilizer now it's recommended that you use about one third the recommended dose and you move upwards checking for nutrient burn every application if you'd like you can check out my tutorial on fertilizing cannabis plants now back to what i was talking about before strains now this plant over here as you can see it's vastly different it's not as tall, it's short and it's more shrubby, it's like a shrub. But the condition of the plant is that it's very healthy, it's just it's short and more bushy than its counterpart, or bushier. As we perform the low stress training and the topping, you can see that the colas, the colas here would grow out even longer and do just like what it's doing on the other plant. And when the colas grow even a little longer, we're going to top those colas and then they're going to split into two different colas. Well, you guys know how topping works. Now this leaf here, it has a little line on it, some little lines on it that would suggest leaf miners. Now I'm going to treat this by using some pesticides on it to try and clear that up. Now moving on to these two little guys here. These two little guys are growing really well but I think that they would benefit from a little more sunlight. So I've put them out uh, so that they can get more sunlight and that would rapidly increase their rate of growth. When they get a little bit older, I'll do the low stress training and the topping on them so that they will be like their brothers and well, hopefully like their sisters next door. For now, it's best just to let these grow and develop into the veg state and then we can fertilize them and do all the things necessary to increase their yields and make them grow as healthy as they could. So that's it for now guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to take in my other videos. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. Thanks so much guys.